Now let's take a look at problem number 27. In problem number 27, we have sand falling from a bin. And as it falls from that bin, it's forming this uh, conical pile on the ground. And uh, we are given a few pieces of information here. One of those pieces of information is that the height of the cone is increasing at a rate of two centimeters per second. So the height of the pile is getting bigger and we know how fast it is rising. Uh, what we're asked to do in this problem is figure out, well, how much sand is being dumped out of the bin at the time where the height is 12 centimeters. Okay, the other little piece of information that we're given in this problem is we know that there's a relationship between the height of this cone and the radius of this cone. And the problem gives us the information that the radius of this cone is three times the height of the cone. And that's going to help us to be able to solve this problem. Now, what we're trying to figure out is what is the change in the rate at which the sand is being dumped out of the pile. In other words, we're searching for what's the change in the volume over time, or dv dt. Okay. So this is our equation for the uh, volume of a cone. Volume equals one-third pi r squared h. And so we want to take the derivative of that with respect to t. But it's not in such a good form to take its derivative because we have too many different variables right now. Right now we have the variable v changes, r changes, and h changes. But we can change that and get it into one variable uh, by using that r is equal to 3h. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to replace r with 3h in this equation for volume. So let's do that. We get that volume is equal to one-third pi times r, but now we know that r is 3 times h, so I'll put a 3h in, squared times h. Okay, so this is the exact same equation for volume that we had before. We just replaced r with 3h. All right, let's simplify that a little bit. If I do, I get that volume is equal to, if I square 3h, I get 9h squared, so 9 divided by 3 is 3, uh, pi then I get h squared times an h, which is h cubed. So this guy just simplifies down to 3 pi h cubed. Now we're ready to take the derivative because now I'm just in two variables. I have a v and an h changing. I don't have three things. We got rid of the r. So we're ready to go. Let's take the derivative of this equation with respect to time. The derivative of v is dv dt. And on the other side, the derivative of 3 pi h cubed, well, the 3 pi is a constant, so it just stays around. And the h cubed's derivative is 3 h squared times dh dt. All right. Now, what we're trying to find here, we're trying to find dv dt. Uh, we're trying to find dv dt, so according to this formula, what I need to know to figure out dv dt is I need to know what h is, and I need to know what dh dt is. But both of these are given to us in the original problem. We have that dh dt is 2, and that h is 12. So let's go ahead and plug those in and see what comes out. So dv dt is equal to um, 3 pi times 3 times h, which is 12, squared times dh dt. But dh dt is 2. So let's multiply this all together and see what we get. Uh, we have a 3 times a 3, which is 9, times a 2, which is 18, 
times pi times 12 squared, which is 144. So dv over dt is equal to 2592 pi. Uh, and now we need some units on this thing. Uh, what are the units? Well, we have dv dt. Volume is measured in this problem in centimeters cubed. Centimeters cubed per time. And time in this problem is measured in seconds. Seconds. And so the rate of change of the sand that is being dumped onto this pile is 2,592 pi centimeters cubed per second.